Hi, this is Pam, Flower Patch Farmhouse. Today I'm going to share with you how I overwinter my zonal geraniums, better known, or should be known as pelargoniums, in my basement. And this is just one way. I will share actually two ways that you can do this. I usually do it this first way, but um, I haven't tried the other way. I'm going to try it, but uh, many of my gardening friends use it and find it successful. So. I was going to give you that option. Also, I have posts on how to start geraniums from cuttings, as well as you can start them from seed. They're very easy to start from seed. Um, and it's kind of fun to get different colors that you really can't get at your garden center. So anyways, let's get started on showing you how I save mine over the winter in a cold winter climate. Now this is the geranium that I'm going to treat right now. Normally I would have waited um, until really the nights were really going to be freezing cold to do this, but I wanted to give you a heads up or a head start in case you have a colder winter or a winter comes sooner where you live. I'm in a zone 8, but I am in the mountains of Northern California. So we can have cold winters. It's just, we've been having a mild fall and I can probably wait until, you know, mid-November to do this, but I wanted to give you a head start. So, I had been letting this go to seed, as you see by this dry pod here of flowers, instead of deadheading it, I wanted to get seeds off of it. I'm not sure that this one produced seeds. It might have gotten zapped in one of my cold nights, but that's okay. I'm just going to cut that off, set it aside. This one also could have produced seeds, but and it's still producing buds. Looks like I had a breadworm. There's a little hole in that one. But I'm just going to trim these off. And then I am going to actually take this off. This has a bunch of new growth right here. But that's going to get taken off. Now here, I'm going to take this off right here. And I'm going to inspect this because I could take cuttings off of this if I wanted to and get them started inside. Like that piece right there. I can actually get that started and overwinter it inside as a small plant under a grow light. I do not have bright enough light in my house to overwinter them in the house. I've had friends that get good direct southern light in their through their windows and they have taken their geraniums inside to overwinter in their house and they actually bloom. I've seen them blooming pretty and I wish I could do that in my home, but I cannot. So Instant waste. I'm not going to bore you with the cuttings because I already have a whole post on that and you can go watch that if you want. I just get started going there. Now I can treat this with a 3-in-1 fungicide, miticide, etc. And you know these probably won't make it through the winter. Let me see if this will spray. I was going to put it in a different bottle. Yes, I need a different bottle. The sprayer went out. Basically this stuff is made from neem oil and um, it just protects it from fungus and whatever during that time. But one way you can cut these all off, and I should, I should go ahead and cut them off. I just I hate to, it's just put it on there so neat. And these all make great cuttings, this green growth. So um, just cut it off. It's not gonna hurt the plant. And I take this, it's pretty moist right now. I can see where it's got plenty of water. I'm going to stick this in my basement. My basement doesn't freeze. It stays fairly um, neutral all during the winter, probably uh, 50, 40s to 50s, and that's just fine. Little buggy, little spider. And I'm going to stick that in the basement. So that's it. You don't want to see my basement dark and dreary. So another way, let me get you another one, another victim here. Now here is a couple, there, there's two in here, so I'll just do one since that one's still blooming and I can still have one to enjoy. Let me get, oh, I don't even have one of my trowels in here, isn't it terrible? But I'm going to use this and I'm just going to dig this out of the soil. 
this looks like it might have been one of my starts that I got in here. There's not a whole lot of roots on there unless I tore them in there, but I don't think so. And I'll just cut the buds off, many of the leaves, because it doesn't do a thing in the basement with the leaves, and you don't want them to get all icky. And then what you do is you put this in a brown paper bag, like a lunch sack, and you hang them or set them, some people put them in a box, in the basement. And that is it until next March or April. I can bring them back into the greenhouse and I could pot this one up. And this one would probably be white because of lack of sunlight. But funny enough, even though it's in the basement, it really doesn't know it's spring as far as I could tell. It does start to put on growth and it's just white because there's no sun to help it create chlorophyll. And you just I just bring it into the greenhouse and water it and let it get sunlight and then as soon as the nights warm up a little bit more where it's not going to freeze them I put them outside and that is how easy it is to overwinter your zonal geraniums in colder climates. Now if you found this video helpful and you liked it please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you know each and every time I put out new videos. I'm trying to get some more gardening videos posted and or go to my website flowerpatchfarmhouse.com and subscribe there and you will get the uh, notifications for both the YouTube and for any new posts I put up on the website. I do DIY, I do garden tips and tricks, and I do a few recipes that are quick and easy so you can get back to whatever else you would like to do. Thank you.